Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you step by step process how we can easily connect a HubSpot with Zapier. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is just be in Zapier and log in, create account here. When you're going to create an account here, you will be here that make a Zap and you want to just write here HubSpot. And when you're going to click HubSpot, you have multiple options what you can actually do, right? And you can also load more ideas. And then what you want to do is to simply search for an app. And let's say that I'm going to write here, I don't know, MailChimp, right? MailChimp. And then when you're going to choose the application, when this happens, so when a company recently created an update email subscribe timeline, right? New company property, then do this in MailChimp. So you can really choose the trigger and you can really choose. So let's put when there is going to be a new customer, then I want to create a ticket in HubSpot or create a deal or add contact to list. Try it. So now what I will do, and you can choose whatever you really want. It's not that hard. I'm going to sign into HubSpot. Okay. Upspot accounts open. Yes, I'm going to authorize HubSpot. Yes, I'm not a robot. And wait until it's going to load. I'm going to refresh the website. Nice. Continue. And now we'll find recent item in your house account. Test trigger. Oh, so I'm going to, I would need to like create a tool here, but this is pretty much it. How we do it. It's like not really hard. It's quite simple. So up spot app event so when there is going to be a new contact continue okay properties retrieve i can choose also additional properties to retrieve i can press continue i don't know if the trigger is going to work or no right now we couldn't find to contact so I'm going to create a new contact in HubSpot. So I will come here to go to my account. Now I will go to contacts, create a contact. And create a contact. And voila. Okay, see, so I created a new contact. It works. Continue. And now goes with the MailChimp. What you need to do is to, like, what do you want to connect with? Add, update, subscribe, or create a campaign. So I'm going to add a subscriber. And I need to sign into MailChimp. And this is the same thing. I don't know if I wrote it. Nice, allow. And voila, this is how we do it, right? So choose an account, continue. You choose a value here. As audience, subscribe to their email. And now contact information email and every time when I'm going to add a new I'm going to see right here, right? Replace groups, etc. And I will fill everything here and continue. And then this is how we do it. Test and continue. So thank you very much guys for watching. If you have any questions, ask me down below in the comments and have a great day and goodbye.
See you.